We previously looked at address component tag format, where we inserted some relays here and they adopted the actual terminal settings from our PLC. We can do the same with wire numbering. So let's go to our project, right click here, properties, and we go to wire numbers this time. And it's the same process. We tick the box, search for PLC input output address on insert. So I'll OK that there. So that's the project setting. I now need to add my drawing to the project. So it's a right click, add active drawing. Do I want to apply the project default values to the drawing settings, the current drawing? Yes, I do. So there's number 11, address wire number tag format. If I right click on that and go to properties and drawing properties and look at wire numbering, Again, it's searching for the PLC input-output address on insert. So, how does this work? Well, if I insert a wire, it's not going to number it automatically. It just draws a wire like that. But let's have a look at doing some tagging and some wire number tagging. What I'm going to do, though, is add some components as well. Let's pop some components in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right-click properties, components, they're searching for PLC input output addresses. Let's also go to the drawing, right click, drawing properties, on components, yes it is searching for the PLC input output address. So let's drop a relay just in here, like so. If I go to the icon menu and go to relay contacts and select just a standard relay normally open contact and drop it there. If I drop that in there, the component tag comes up as K, and I'm going to put 001. And I'm going to just basically OK that. No tagging of the wires. So what do we do? Well, we go to wire numbers here, like so, and I need to tag my wires. Now I'm just going to pick individual wires here. So I go pick individual wires. I want to tag that wire there and that wire there. If I right click now, look at the numbering. It's picked up the wire numbering from that terminal I01. Can you see there? Input 01. And then it's numbered this one sequentially and just called it wire number one. So that's how your address wire number tag format works. It works in a similar way to the component tag format that we looked at previously.